Hey everyone, it's Jess. I normally don't make videos like this, but I have been going through a lot and I have always found that talking about it is the best thing for me to do in situations like this. So I want to talk to you about my experience with mental illness. I've written something for you and I thought that I would read it. I wasn't really writing for anybody in particular, I was really writing for myself. And when I was reading it over, I kind of had this inspiration to read it on camera. And I decided to be a little bit more open about things that I go through and things that I'm currently going through um, in the hopes of either my friends and family understanding it a little bit more or perhaps helping someone that's going through something similar. I'm going to read it to you and hopefully you are able to understand me a little bit better. Mental illness has such a stigma around it, as it did when I was younger, and first started struggling with it. At that time, I tried to talk to people close to me about what I was struggling with, friends and family, but I was always shot down or just ended up talking to people that didn't understand. Now that I'm older, I want to talk to you about what it's like for me to struggle with mental illness and what it means. I have dealt with many issues within the umbrella of mental illness, including depression, an eating disorder, PTSD, and PTSD-related anxiety. I've struggled with these issues for years, since I was only eight years old, but it wasn't until college when I was actually allowed access to professional help that I was able to start sorting through what was going through my head since I was a child. Therapy doesn't fix everything, as I'm sure anyone who's gone through it will tell you. Though most of the time I'm happy, I go through times where my depression takes over me, sometimes for days or even weeks at a time. I've currently been struggling with my depression for a couple of weeks now, which is why I wanted to make this video. I want to give people some insight into what it's like to struggle with mental illness, at least what it's like for me. When I've fallen into a depression, it's like there's a fog that's been pulled over my whole life. Time starts to blend together, and I can't tell you anything that's happened over days or weeks. I start to not care about simple things like showering or cooking or picking up David from work. I don't care about going to work. I don't even care if all I do all day is sit and stare at the wall because I just don't have the energy to do anything else. Now if you know me, you know that that couldn't be farther from the truth from how I normally act which is why it can be so debilitating because I can't do anything that I care about in my normal life. Having depression for me is like being two separate people. Anyone can tell the difference between normal Jess and depressed Jess. But I have found over the years that it definitely gets better for me. I had a couple of really bad days over the last two weeks since this new episode started, but I can recognize it and try to control it. I can't tell you when it's going to happen or if anything triggers it, but being open about it and being able to talk about it to people who know me really helps me recover from it. Whenever I confide in close friends about my mental illness, a lot of them tell me, if you need to talk to anyone, I'm here. I understand and I appreciate that response because what else are you supposed to say? I can't expect friends who have never experienced depression or an eating disorder to understand what's going on in my head or why I am the way that I am. I've grown to have a lot of sympathy for my friends over the years watching me go through this. But I think it's really important to talk about these things because even if you don't have a diagnosis of mental illness, everyone goes through ups and downs. The difference is that some people naturally handle it in a healthy way while people like me don't. I'm not ashamed of my struggles and maybe one day I'll tell the world why I have these things and where they came from. These things about me make me who I am and I wouldn't be the strong survivor that I am today without them. I have found that if I try to hide these things from everyone that I care about, they get much, much worse. So here I am, being open about what I deal with and giving you an opportunity to understand. I don't want to be in a culture that creates this stigma around mental illness, that it doesn't exist, or that I'm making a big deal out of nothing, or it's embarrassing to others that I use the words mental illness so I should just ignore it and get over it. I'm here to tell you that that doesn't work. I encourage everyone watching to try to understand where someone with mental illness is coming from. And don't trivialize what they're saying to you because you have no idea what others have had to go through in their lives. It's not a competition and it's not up to you to decide how someone else deals with their struggles. 
If you want to be supportive to someone with mental illness, listen to them and try to understand. Don't pass judgment or try to tell them that they're wrong for feeling this way. Be a friend and they'll be a friend back to you. I have used writing as a sort of personal therapy for years. It helps me sort through my thoughts and communicate better whenever talking about it isn't easy. Thank you for listening and thank you for supporting me.